Let's explore Scanning Station. We can create new batches with a variety of options. One thing we can do is use a pre-selected batch type and we'll take a deeper look at these batch types shortly. Let's start off by creating a new batch. And we'll load some images. And when we send a batch in, there are some settings we need to select, such as which project and which batch type to use. And we can also fill in registration parameters. To make life easier, we can create ScanStation batch types that include scanning, image preprocessing, and export options of the batch. And these batch types can be exported and saved in XML format, and they can be password protected when exported. I'll just cancel out of this and take a look at Tools, Options, and there's setting changes that you can make here that you can explore. Now, let's create a brand new batch type. I'll click on Tools, Batch Types, New, and we can first look at what's most commonly done, and that is point to a scanner. And we can look at the different scanning options that can be selected here. I'll use a different technique where I'm going to use a virtual scanner. That option allows us to import images from a folder. Also, we've got various batch separation and document separation options available to us. And image preprocessing settings as well. In the Send options, I can select FlexiCapture and select my project, also my batch type. We can also import batch registration parameters. I'll just click through this wizard and name the batch type Customer Questionnaire. Let's take a closer look at batch type properties. We'll go ahead and edit a batch type. And we'll open the Batch Registration Parameters tab. And here we can change the city value. We could specify that the choices are Seattle and Portland, which would give us a drop list. Or instead of a drop list, we could have a text value and give it a default value, say Portland. Be aware that there's a variety of ways we can send documents. And the registration parameters will persist regardless of destination. We can send batches to FlexiCapture, or we can send directly to a folder or to an FTP site or we can send via script. When we send the images to folders, the registration parameters, which of course are non-image data, will be saved as XML files. One thing to note, scanner operators can make mistakes. So if someone scans a batch with the wrong batch type, they can change it to any pre-existing batch type if they need to. That's an important capability.
Something also to take note of is we can alter the time when batches are sent. So I could specify a send time range, and that may be when you prefer to send your scanned batches. If for some reason the send task fails, there's capability to specify how many retries should occur. Now let's create a batch using a batch type, and we'll go ahead and send it. We select the batch type, and this is again is pointing to a folder, and this really does make a scanner operator's life simpler. Then they click Send To, and the batch is sent to FlexiCapture.